Welcome back to my channel. No, I'm not graduating. I actually already graduated from high school and from college, but this is my high school graduation cap and gown and tassel. I finally pulled it out of my closet, and yes, my mom found this tassel from high school. She's amazing. She keeps everything, and she gets a lot of crap from us for keeping all these crazy things, but she's awesome because you know, when I actually do need something, she has it. So thanks mom, love you. <laughs> I'm super excited to show you guys how I got this beautiful graduation makeup look. So stay tuned to see how I got this look. So I'm starting by priming my eyes with Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer. I'm going to use this soft brown color from MAC and it is a very neutral shade. You want to start by using a neutral shade closest to your skin and a big fluffy blending brush. So now that I have that first shade underneath my eyebrow right above my crease, I'm now going to be taking the next shade, Dark Brown from MAC Cosmetics as well, and this smoky eyeshadow brush, and I'm gonna be creating the line for the cut crease. And don't mind this over here, I kind of started and got a little bit ahead of myself, but just rewind, I'm gonna show you guys how I got it. Now that I've created the line for the cut crease using this smoky shadow brush, I'm now going to be going in using another fluffy blending brush, but this time I'm using the shade Soft Script from MAC, and I'm really going to blend the two colors, well the third color is going to be the transition that blends the two colors in nice and smooth. So now that I got those shades all blended together, I'm now going to be applying a light shade on my bottom eyelids. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and keep this a super matted look, which is very beautiful, and you would just apply a light matted shade right in the crease, or excuse me, right on the eyelid, exactly where I'm going to be applying this MAC pigment. I absolutely love this MAC pigment. I've actually had this since before I was a makeup artist 
and I still have it and there's more than half, it's more than halfway full. This is amazing. You can use it as a highlighter, eyeshadow, whatever, but I use it all the time on my clients for to add a nice sparkle or shimmer to the, sh to the lid, but without being too glittery and over the top. And when you apply your pigment or your eyeshadow, it's best to use a flat eyeshadow brush. And this one in particular is rounded at the top and that is the best brush to use because it really allows you to go along the edges of the crease and create a perfect edge. Okay, so now I applied that shimmer, which like I said, that pigment, it's very subtle. It doesn't look like I have a whole lot of glitter on my eyes, but it does give me a nice sparkle. The cut crease is great for people who may have uneven eyes, which most of us do, um, because this eye in particular on mine is a little more hooded than my other eye. But by drawing the cut crease, you are creating the line for where your crease starts. So if you know that one is higher than the other or shows more than the other, the cut crease really allows you, like I said, to draw that line more evenly so that both eyes can really match up. And if you do get a little bit, you know, down below and it's not completely even, that's why it's good to save the last part on the lid for last because that allows you to fix up any and cover up any mistakes that you may have made. Um, like I said, using a flat brush, that really helps. And if you need to and you want to cover up and do an, another layer, put some concealer down before you put your eyeshadow on. That will really help to clean up all the edges really nice. Um, with a concealer brush. It's the same, it's flat and it has that rounded edge. It will really help you to get in there and smooth things out really nice. So now moving on to my eyeliner. Today I'm going to be using this MAC liquid gel, or sorry, fluid line. It's a gel liner. I'm going to be using this just because I think it's really easy to get a nice smooth line and, and really crisp line when using a brush. I'm using this flat angled brush. This is great for brows. I actually have one specifically for brows, same brush, but one specifically for brows and the other for liner. So I did just pop on some lashes, but I'm going to show you guys how I did it as best as possible. Um, this glue is awesome. This is by Ardell and it is latex free, which is good because there are a lot of people out there that are allergic to latex and the other eyelash glue that I've used in the past all have latex in them and 
they take a little bit to dry. You know, you do have to let them dry a little and then go ahead and get put them on once they get a little tacky. But this glue dries pretty quick. You don't need to let it sit at all. You simply just, and it comes with a handy dandy brush, which is awesome because it doesn't, you know, squeeze out of the bottle too fast. You simply just brush the edge of the lash, the strip, and make sure that you put enough glue on the edges because the edges is what lifts up first. Like I said, you do not need to let this glue dry. You simply go straight on want to make sure that the lashes are as close to your natural lash line as possible. You don't want them too high. But what's good is we did apply the eyeliner so you have plenty of room to apply the lashes. And there's no real technique as far as putting them on. I will say they are a little bit easier to apply, apply on someone else than they are on yourself because you do have to keep your eye open, you know, to see, but then you have to close it to put it on. So it can be a little complicated, but what's nice about this glue is that it does dry pretty quick. So, you know, once you get it in place, you just pinch it and it stays. It's not going to move around and get all crazy on you, so that's really good. For my bottom waterline, I'm applying a black liner. This one's from DNA Cosmetics. that liner in my bottom waterline. I'm going to be going back with this smoky eyeshadow brush and brown script again. And I'm just going to run it along the bottom of my eyelashes. to be applying my favorite concealer, of course, from DNA Cosmetics. And I love it because it simply just twists up. It's super convenient and I just draw underneath my eye where I wanna be highlighted. And of course, down the bridge of my nose. set all of those areas on my face. I'm using Laura Mercier's translucent powder. Always, I'm taking DNA Cosmetics Soft Focus Powder to set the other areas on my face to create a natural contour. Once I get that placed on my face, I'm going back and I'm going to set the contour 
for my cheek. Lots of powder, powder everywhere. It's snowing. I'm now taking my bronzer. This one is from Makeup Forever. And my favorite bronzing contour brush broke today when I was washing my brushes. So I have to use another brush. I don't really know if it's gonna be that great, but. I'm gonna follow the line. And just contour the outer areas of your face. And now for blush, DNA Cosmetics blush in rose gold. This is honestly my favorite blush. It's amazing because it is nice and shimmery, so it gives you like that nice highlighted look, but it's bronzy at the same time. So it's not too, too blushy, but still gives you blush. Does that make any sense? I love it. Key to blush is smiling, finding your cheeks, and yeah, just doing circular motions. You really want it to be nice and subtle. There's nothing worse than some blush that's just blah there on your face for everyone to stare at. You want it to be subtle. So now that I have pretty much everything done on my face, I'm going to add some highlighter and I'm going to be using this MAC pigment again to show you guys that it works great as a highlighter as well. Using a fan brush is really good because it won't let you to get too much in one spot. And also applying a little right under my eyebrows. And just a tad bit on the tip of my nose. And on my cupid's bow. Now for mascara. My favorite, of course, as always, from MAC. It's the in 3D Extra Dimension, and I think this is my old mascara because it seems a little dried out. Yeah, this is definitely the old one. Give me a sec while I find the new one. Aha! I found it! So I went ahead and threw the old one away because I don't even know why I have the old one. Just confused me, I guess. Okay, so last but definitely, definitely not least, I'm applying my lips. And as always, I'm using DNA Cosmetics Lip Liner. This one in particular is Neapolitan. I chose this color because I feel that it's important to, you know, look like yourself, somewhat natural for graduation, but also you wanna be able to really see it, you know, when you're on stage, your lips gotta be popping.
gloss is a natural color, so it's great. You can put it with any color. I don't like my lips to be super glossy. So I just put a little bit and voila. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Gotta be careful when you have a white cap not to get your makeup all over it. If you need someone to help you, do so. So once you start graduation, your tassel should start on the right side and once you graduate, it is then turned to the left side once you receive your diploma, which I have received my diploma, so I guess I get to wear mine on the left side. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I want to say congratulations to all you graduates out there. I hope that you guys have an amazing graduation and don't fall. Please, nobody fall on stage. But let me know what you guys thought of this video. Give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel. And give me some ideas for my next video. Every Tuesday I post a new video, so stay tuned. Mwah.